Now the downtown cleanup is well underway after Chicago's first NASCAR street race. It was a uh, soggy and exciting weekend that certainly came with a lot of buildup and now questions about the economic impact. NBC5's Charlie Wojciechowski takes a closer look. As quickly as it went up, the racetrack that wound its way through Grant Park is coming down. And as the barricades that protected drivers and fans are being removed, race fans are glad they came to see NASCAR's first Chicago street race. Honestly, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was great. It's cool. I'm surprised I got it off because I thought it was going to be called with the rain. The weekend rains cut races short both on Saturday and on Sunday. The impact on crowds is still unknown. According to the initial estimate, planners were expecting 50,000 people to come to see the races each day accounting for 24,000 hotel rooms and an overall economic impact of almost $114 million. But some experts caution that a race like this one is no guarantee for the city. You give me whatever estimate you think the economic impact is, then take the decimal point and move it one to the left. University of Chicago professor Alan Sanderson is an expert on the economics of sports. If somebody comes in town, spends 200 nights, $200 a night in a, in a hotel room, how much of that $200 stays in Chicago? Not much. Still, Sanderson says the deal to bring NASCAR to Chicago wasn't a bad one. And fans making their way home from the rain-shortened event tend to agree. Yeah, it was cool. I would potentially come back for you. Yeah. On Michigan Avenue, Charlie Fortune Husky, NBC5 News.